Hello stampers, I'm Dina Lanzendorf at Ink and with Dink and welcome to my video. This week for my videos and my Facebook Live, I am focusing on the Sweet Ice Cream Bundle. Now it includes not only this fabulous stamp set, but also this coordinating punch. Love the punch, let me turn it this way so you can see exactly what it is. Cuts out the ice cream and then the cone shape. So it's really a fun bundle, um, super fun to play with. I did a Facebook Live yesterday where um, we made three different cards. We made these three cards right here, okay? Just to kind of show you some different ways to make the ice cream, different things to do with the designer series paper, things like that. This is also what is featured in my online club this month. So in my online club, what it is, it is $35 and we make six projects, okay? So look at this fun shaker card. Is that not cool? So we're going to make six projects. There'll be five cards, okay? I like to do some different fun fold kind of cards, things like that. And then we'll be making this super cute little box. Um, and it's all using the sweet ice cream um, sweet. So for the $35, you'll get the supplies to make these six cards. You'll also get half of a package of the ice cream, see if I can get it off here, designer series paper, which we'll be playing with a little bit more today. You will also receive a spool of the Blackberry Bliss Coordinating Ribbon and also a package of the ice cream sprinkles, which are so fun to play with. So again, that is for my online club that I have going on right now. I will put the link to subscribe to it in the description, so be watching for that. But for right now, I've got a different kind of a card to show you, and we're going to be using the new blending brushes. Love the new brushes. They are so easy to work with and so fun. And so here is the card we're making. This was actually a card I made for a recent swap I was in. Um, and so I'm going to be showing you how to make this. So if you are ready, let's get started. So to start off, you're going to need a piece of flirty flamingo cardstock that is eight and a half by five and a half. You're just going to take it, fold it in half. Go ahead and use your bone folder so that it's nice and crisp. But then what we're going to do is we're going to, and I can show you on this one, fold down the top of the front piece. Okay, so it is just kind of a flap across here and it is one and a half inches. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to, with my ruler, measure down one and a half inches and I'm just gonna put a little mark right there. That gives me a place to start, okay, for my fold. So then, oh, and then I put it on the wrong end. How do you like that? See, we all do it. All right, so let's try it this way and let's try it one and a half inches from the other end. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, that is my mark that I'm going to use for my fold and I'm just going to fold it right like that, okay? So I lined it up against this edge, that way I was sure to get it nice and straight across like that. Okay, now I want this to stay closed because I'm going to be sliding my uh, card inside of there. So I'm just going to use my tear and tape and I would suggest using this rather than the seal plus because this is going to make a little thinner line and you want a very thin line of adhesive here. Okay, so I'm just going to take it, I've butted it all the way up to the edge. I'm going to get another piece. Do the same thing on the other side, but it all the way up to the edge, okay? If you rub on the tear and tape, it usually makes the backing a whole lot easier to get off. Give it a little bit of pressure like that, and then I'm going to go ahead whoop, and just adhere that down like that. So now it's made a pocket. For this flap here, I do want it to stay down, so I'm just going to use, you can use your tear and tape again, I'm just going to use a little bit of my liquid adhesive, and I'm just going to hold that down just like that. Okay, we're going to start on the inside and work our way out. So we're going to start off, we need a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and this one measures four and a quarter by three and three fourths. 
Now I've already gone through and stamped on here because when I was making my swap cards, I just kind of did it, um, oh, like a buffet style. Okay, did a whole bunch of one thing and then moved on. So um, I've already got some of them stamped and I did some extras just in case I needed them. So this one is already stamped with the happy birthday from the stamp set. I just did it up here at the top and that way you can slide it in as far as it'll go and you can still see the happy birthday. Now we're gonna need a piece right here. Again, I stamped some extras, so I have it done. But this piece is five and a quarter by one and a quarter. And in the stamp set is also this piece with sprinkles on top. So I stamped that on there. Looks like I did it on both sides, but it didn't show up as good on this side. So we'll use that as our back side. Gonna put our adhesive on there and it is stamped over to the right hand side because I knew I wanted my ice cream cone to go over here to the left. So I just went all the way to the right to stamp that on there, okay? All right, now we're ready for some layers. So for my scallop circle and the stitched one in here, let me get a little bit closer so you can see it. You see the stitching on the white piece? That is from the Stitched Shape Framelits. Love these. The scallop around the outside is from the Layering Circle Framelit dies. Okay. So I just found a couple that were close in size and have cut them out just like that. I'm going to go ahead and adhere them together because I'm not stamping directly on them. So I've got that and now I want to adhere it down but it is going to come up and I'm going to kind of do it with this in place so that will help me see where I want to put it. But some of it is going to stick up above the fold here so you don't want to put your adhesive all the way to the top. You just want it down on the bottom part and then you can adhere that down, kind of center it side to side from the edge and the start of the words just like that. All right, now we're ready for our ice cream cone. So I'm going to use this piece of cardstock here and I am going to start by stamping the ice cream cone in crumb cake. Now, one thing I do want to do, because I'm going to be punching it out, is I want to see how my paper is going to go into my punch, and that way I know at what kind of an angle I need to stamp my ice cream cone. So I'm going to ink it up here, and I'm going to stamp it down kind of diagonal, right like that. Okay. Now also in this stamp set, they have the hashtag kind of look for on top of the ice cream cone. Super cute. I am going to use, yep, we'll go ahead and use this. This is the Early Espresso. Just going to ink it up and it just gets stamped directly on our cone just like that. Okay, so he's ready. Now I'm going, you know what, let's go ahead and punch him out so that I don't forget. So I'm just gonna center that in there like that Shoop, and punch him out so he is set. Okay, now I'm going to prepare my cardstock for my scoop of ice cream. So this is where the blending brushes come into play. Now you could either punch it first and then do the blending brushes or blend the brushes first and then um, punch and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start off with my early espresso and all I'm going to do um, with my blending brushes is just dab them down a little bit. We'll go, you know, we'll go this way. And I am just going to create a chocolate area on my card front or on my cardstock. So you can keep going as many layers as you want till you get it as dark as you want it. And I'm gonna go just about like that. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the Flirty Flamingo. And 
and I'm just going to tap. And when I do with my blush brushes, I start off off of the cardstock and kind of rub onto it. That way I don't end up with a lot of uh, marks on it because when you first put your brush down, it kind of leaves um, some, some funny marks on it. So I start off on my cardstock and then rub it on. So there is what I have. And I am just going to take this and I need to trim up a little bit. I'm going to slide this on here. And then you just kind of gotta get it positioned so that it has the right amount of coloring on it that you want and then punch. And there you go, it gives you Neapolitan ice cream. Is that not the coolest thing? Love it. All right, so now what I wanna do, he is ready to go on, here's the cone, the cone. So I'm just going to, you know what, I'm not even gonna glue them together. I'm gonna put some sprinkles on my cone. So open this up, look how fun those are. There's just so many of them in a container. I've been using them and using them and using them, and there's still a ton. So I am going to put just some little dabs of my liquid adhesive for my little sprinkles. Then I'm going to take the Take Your Pick tool and I'm just going to start picking up my little sprinkles. And I wanna get, there's four different colors, so I just kinda want a variety of the four colors and then you can do your fifth one in whichever color you want. Let's do purple. That's not purple. Purple. Just like that. Okay. All right, now we're ready to put this on the card. So the reason I was waiting is because both pieces are popped up with dimensionals. So it really isn't going to matter whether they're stuck together or not. So I'm gonna lay it on here so I can get my centering. So I see it's just gonna hang off a bit down there. So let's put our dimensional on there and let it hang off a touch. Turn him over, put our dimensional on there. Be a little careful with this one if your glue is still wet. And we're just gonna stick that down like that. All right, now we're gonna put a little bow on here. So I'm just going to use my Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding. I'm going to make a little bow here with my bow maker. Whoops. was talking to the gals in my Come Stamp With Me event that I was doing this week, and they informed me that yes, there are companies that sell these bow makers, and that's what they're called exactly is a bow maker. So if you want to get your hands on one of these, um, just Google bow makers, and um, you should be able to find them. There we go. All right, so let's kind of play with him the way we want him. And I'm going to grab my glue dots. I'm going to stick one on the back of our bow. And then we're just going to put him right down there like that. And where are my little scissors? There they are. Let's just give it a little trim right there and right there. And there you go. There is a super fun little pocket birthday card where you've made your own Neapolitan ice cream. So think of all the yummy flavors that you can make. Um, if you like combined flavors of ice cream like that, think of all the fun stuff you can do. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this week with all of my samples that I have made using the sweet ice cream bundle and some of the other um, 
pieces from the suite that you have decided that this is definitely something that you need in your um in your collection so if you decide to, to place an order be sure and go to dina l stamps .net. here is my february host code when your order comes to at least thirty dollars um, before tax and shipping you will also receive the my monthly card class kit in the mail my kit um, is enough to make six cards. You'll do two of each, and this is a new slimline card. Look at the size of that. Isn't that fun? It fits in a business size envelope, so you don't even need to make your own envelopes. So you'll get everything you need, all the consumables to make these cards, um, six of them, so two of each of them. And also don't forget about my club. Okay, so my club is also featuring the sweet ice cream sweet. And again, I'm going to put the link in the description and you'll receive all the uh, projects or the um, products to be able to make these six projects. You'll also receive a half a package of the ice cream as well as, whoops, wrong ribbon, a spool of the uh, Blackberry Bliss ribbon and a package of the ice cream corner sprinkles. So thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you next time.